what's up? I hope you're having a really good day. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look and I was actually inspired by a picture that I found on Pinterest and I am addicted to Pinterest. I spend way too much time on it. I actually recently made a ton of different makeup boards. It's a little ridiculous but it's so much fun. So if you guys aren't following me already and you have an account, I'll link mine down below in the description box and definitely leave your username in the comments down below so I can go follow you guys. I posted a picture of this makeup look on my Instagram account and I originally wasn't going to do a tutorial on it just because I was just playing around and having fun and stuff but I thought I would do a tutorial and show you guys how I did this look because it was so simple and easy I think I used maybe four or five different eyeshadows so it was really quick and this blue eyeshadow gives me life so I just needed to share it with you guys and I did use all makeup geek eyeshadows for this look because I'm just obsessed with their eyeshadows and I need to order like a thousand more but of course you can use whatever you have in your collection to recreate this look and if you do recreate it definitely send me a picture on my Twitter or my Instagram Instagram or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and let's get started. So to start the eyes, I'm using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm going to be putting this all over my lid just to ensure that my eyeshadow lasts all day. And then on top of that, I'm taking Max Painterly Paint Pot. I love this stuff. I use it every single day. And I'm just using a brush to apply it all over my lid up to my brow bone. And this is just going to create a really nice base for the eyeshadow and get rid of any discoloration. So for eyeshadows, I mainly used Makeup Geek, so the first one I'm taking is Beaches and Cream. This is one of my favorites, so I'm just taking a really big fluffy brush and applying it all over my lid up to my brow bone just as a base eyeshadow. The next color I'm taking is Peach Smoothie, and this is one of my favorite transition colors. So I'm just taking it on a small pencil brush and applying it directly in the crease. Then I'm going to be taking the color Cocoa Bear and this is a really nice red brown color and I'm taking it on an even smaller pencil brush and applying it directly in my crease and then using a fluffy brush to blend everything together. And then for the outer and inner part of my eye to create that halo effect, I'm using a mix of mocha which is a really nice rich brown color and a tiny bit of corrupt which is a black. And I'm just taking it on this Real Techniques fluffy brush and just lightly blending that all in to the inner and outer part of my eye. And then on the very center of my lid, I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow base in the color white. You could also use the Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in Milk, and I'm just lightly patting that on the very center of my eye, and this is just going to make the blue really pop. So I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Mermaid eyeshadow, which is a beautiful blue. I'm obsessed with it, and I'm just going to be using a slightly damp brush to apply it to the very center of my lid in a patting motion. And then on top of Mermaid, I added a tiny bit of Urban Decay's Midnight Cowgirl eyeshadow. This brightened it up a little bit and added a little bit extra shimmer. And then I just went back in and darkened up the inner and outer corner of my eye and blended everything together. And for my lower lash line, I used that same really tiny pencil brush to apply mocha on the inner and outer part of my lower lash line. And then I took Mermaid and applied it to the very center. For my eyebrows, I defined and filled them in with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Chocolate. And then to highlight my brow bone, I used the Makeup Geek White Lies eyeshadow. I finished the eyes by applying some Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner to my top lash line. Applying some mascara, I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and then finishing off with some false eyelashes. I'm going to be uploading an updated foundation routine so that'll be linked in the down bar once it's up. But for blush, I use the Tarte Blush in Exposed. This is one of my favorites, it's just a really great natural color. And then for my highlight, I decided to use the Anastasia Metal Crush eyeshadow and this is in the color Thunderstruck so I just applied it pretty much all over my face. And then to finish off the look, I'm using one of my favorite everyday lipsticks. This is by MAC and it's in the color Faux. It's just a really pretty light pink kind of your lips but better lipstick. And that's it for this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this really simple pop of color. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you so much and I will talk to you later.